In this lesson, we're going to look at something called the interquartile range and then the semi interquartile range. Now, effectively, these are measures of spread, how spread out the information is or how spread out the data is. So the interquartile range takes into account the middle 50% of the data uh, instead of just focusing on the end values, i.e., the highest and the lowest mark. Sometimes, if you're talking about strictly test marks, the highest and the lowest mark don't tell you what's happening. The middle 50% quite often tells you roughly how well your class is doing. So the range of numbers is the highest take away the smallest. So the interquartile range is just the range of the quartiles. The highest quartile, which is Q3, take away the lowest quartile, which is Q1. So it's the spread of the box here. The highest quartile is this one, Q3, and the lowest quartile is this one, Q1. We don't use Q2 in the, the range, it's just Q3, the biggest take away the smallest. So if you're trying to work it out, We've got 85, take away 76, so it's pretty easy, it's 9, it's remember and that's what you do. Now, if you've got a small interquartile range, what that shows is the information, the, f the middle 50 percent is not very spread out, which means the marks are quite consistent, they're quite packed together. So if you're looking for consistency, um, you want low um, measures of spread, low ranges, low interquartile ranges. Now there's another bit of information at National 5 that you need to know, and it's called the semi interquartile range, which is very similar. The semi circle is really the same as the, a circle, but it's half of it. And the semi interquartile range is basically half of the interquartile range. So it takes into account the middle 25%, and it's often used at this level. So instead of just looking at the middle 50, we close it in on the middle 25%. So you do Q3, take Q1. That's the interquartile range, but we split it in two to get the semi interquartile range. In this case, you still do 85, take away 76, but you half your answer and you get 4.5.